tip of the week. This week, we're going to talk about serve. And we're going to see how having a low toss on your standing float serve can help you have more control over your serve. To see that, we're going to watch the next couple of videos. Let's watch the serves one at a time. First, the high toss, and now the low toss serve. Now let's look at both serves together. First, full speed. And now I'm going to slow it down for you guys so that we can really see what happens and what the difference is between both serves. So the one thing that we notice is that on the left side, left hand side of your screen where the toss is low, we can see the ball very clearly. Okay. As opposed to on the right side of your screen where the toss is high, we can see that the ball is blurry. Why is that? Well, it's pretty simple. It's because on the high toss serve, you see the ball leaves the screen. Well, when it comes down to the server's hands, it's going to have much more speed. So it's going to come way faster, which will make it harder for the server to put their hands on the ball. Okay, We see it here as the ball comes down to Ben's hand. How blurry it is? Well, this is because of the speed of the ball. If we look at the low toss serve, we see that the ball is very clear, so it doesn't have as much speed. That tells us that the server will be able to put their hands on the ball really good so that they can put more power and have more control over their serve. So this is why you want to have a low toss. As you can see, when you have a low toss, the ball doesn't have as much speed which allows you to put your hand on the ball and have a crisp and sharp contact on that ball so that you can control it and send it wherever you want. This is what you want to do, right? So keep your toss low and you're going to have a lot more success. So right now, let's just go see what it looks like. See, when you keep your toss low, you can really serve wherever you want.